we're live. So, we're back here in Cliffside. We've got a lot done. Obviously, we've still got a lot more to do. Well, no, maybe not so much in this city. Um, I don't know why these guys say they don't have skilled workers. Everybody's... I mean, like, seriously, we got, like, five hats of education, so... I'm not sure what their problem is yet, but we'll work on that. Not enough Omega. We may need to drop another Omega factory here, but this one doesn't seem to be quite reaching its full potential yet, so we'll, we'll check on that. Oh yeah, here's the other thing we need to do. Let's fix this. No relief from work. No relief from work. No relief from work. So, more than likely that's a traffic issue here. Maybe we need another exit. Another way for them to get up to this upper section. Let's see what we can do here. I'd like this to be flat somewhere. Because that would be kind of neat, just a big curve up the hill like that. It's not ending up very flat. Oh, there we go. I like that. Now we'll take that. I think we need to just demolish the little end of the road there. Take that and come along here. And then just back into the road here. There. Hopefully we have a couple ways for traffic now to get through. I think we need to start our research city pretty soon so we can get some maglevs in this city. That'll definitely help. Especially with these high wealth people, because they don't take buses. It says highway traffic congestion, but I only see it right here. I wonder what the best way to fix that is here. And maybe we actually have to take this road out not even give them an exit there. Or an entrance, as it were, either way. And that relegates all of that over here, though. It's the same problem. Hmm, actually, that seemed to clear some of it up. We'll see what happens at 6 p.m. here. have more riders. Last time I looked yesterday we had uh, 3,000 riders or something and we have 12,000 now so we're up to like you know 1% of the city or excuse me 10% of the city. I'm debating putting another mega tower in over here. I'm not sure what I would do to attach it for, you know, people to get to work and stuff, though. I'll think about it here. Where's our trash going? We have this one that should take trash first. Yeah, see, we have, we have, we're doing perfectly 
time. And we're collecting all of our garbage and everything, which is great. And actually, I think this relief road really did help. Because I don't see them getting backed up like nearly like they used to. Not even up here. I mean, it's, there used to be a pretty solid line just in these two areas. Hmm, there still kind of is, but... Do you have room for a mega tower over here? We do not. Okay, so scratch that idea for now. Still have to decide what to do with this space. I really don't know what to put there. I mean, I, I, we definitely need more people in the town and stuff, but I'm really just not sure what to do here. Unskilled workers again. What are you? Unskilled workers. Hmm. I don't know why I'm not getting skilled workers. <laughs> if anybody can answer that, let me know. I, it doesn't make sense, though. We got, like, five, like, seriously, almost five full hats of education. How's our, our college population coming along here? Good. It's increasing. We'll be able to delete this little power plant later. Oh, let's let's watch the traffic here at 6 a.m. again. But yeah, once I put in another city, uh, we'll be able to delete this. It's just supplying a little bit of extra power that the arcology needs. It's really just a mad dash of students to get to class. Hmm, looks like we got some people coming in from other towns to go to class. Or probably from the arcology, rather. We don't have any other towns yet. But... It looks like they're getting there, okay? And it's funny, the students always leave before the workers. <laughs> because the students will clog everything up and then the workers try to go and they get clogged up, so... At least that's, that's what I've noticed in, in this particular city. <coughs> Why are students up here? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe did they go like the wrong way. Are they lost? See, it looks like everybody's able to get to school on time. Okay. Let's do this real quick. We're gonna upgrade this power plant. Oh, well, we, have, we have tons of money, so we're, we're getting ready for this next city here. I just kind of want to finish off this city. So, we're gonna upgrade this power plant, and we're gonna, um... Fix that mega tower. Hopefully. Plenty. I, I gotta make up for the difference in the um, solar panel, the, the generator here. So I think we're gonna redo this, basically this entire one, because I wanna put the parks closer to the top, make people happy. And put the malls at the bottom so they're easy to get to, and resident in the middle, I guess. It's online now? Yeah. So we're gonna strip this thing all the way down. Well, 
Let's see what that gets us here. So we're still gonna need mall up here. It's interesting. Every, almost everything in the city is very stable except for needing skilled workers. It just baffles me. Seriously, if anybody watching has an answer to this, let me know because it, it makes no sense. Five hats of education and you can't get a skilled work. Maybe it's maybe it's that they can't get workers in general. Because I, I know I'm short on workers right now. I need to. That's why I built the archaeology. It's just the way I kind of designed this city was to rely on the ecology more, but... Ah, it's so weird. And a bit of traffic there. Gosh, you know, it'd be nice to... Actually even take this not and not drop it here, but drop it here. I think we have enough room to do that. Let's pause this. I think we have enough room to do that. Let's see here. See if it'll let me build over the processor factory. Draw through place buildings, huh? Not gonna let me go over it at all. Oh, at a spot. Can't do there. One more. Hope you guys enjoy watching me trying to mangle this road into submission. <laughs> it can come out there. That's a little too close. I wanted to put it right in here. I, I just can't go up high enough to make it do it. Okay, look, I brought it back out a little bit more. Then we try it. See if it'll let me go over the solar plant instead. It doesn't look like it. Alright, it looks like it's only going to let me go over the processor plant and only at a very specific point. I wonder if we can bring it around this way. If it'll make a difference. that we can find a spot over here to make this work. I wonder if it doesn't like raising the land right there. Like right right near the building. <laughs> yeah, Strid, I, I gotta find the magic spot. <laughs> uh, that's the way this game always works. Well, I had a spot over here if I went, like, five or six tall. Maybe I can get that to work. Oh, seriously, come on, where was that? Oh! Oh! Okay, it likes that. Interesting. Bring it any closer. It looks like it gets too high there. We're going to do this. And then... Oh, you're going to make me do it this way? Alright. 
Let's hope I can make this look good. I hate how it makes this like this crack <laughs> in, in the thing when you when you try to draw from something like this. <laughs> Maybe we can actually just take this up here and place it, and then we can still fit the... No, because I don't want to make that a four-way intersection. Damn it, this is annoying. <laughs> I wonder if I can do this. And then curve it in. Oh, come on. Curve. Oh, that's terrible. Alright. I have an idea. Bring this road out just a little bit. A little stub there. And then... Then we can... Hopefully... Come over this the right way. There. Doesn't like that either. And then it looks like we're going to play this game again. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. The problem is it curves around a lot there. I don't think I can bring it back in a good place. That actually kind of works. I mean, it's kind of an annoying intersection there, but... Let's see if I can get a little bit better intersection. There, that's a little better. Let's try that. Now that they have a little bit different of an exit there, or the different spot to go to in the uh, industrial area. Let's try that. Do you really think that they would pick the road that would take them closest to where they work? You know, everybody that works down here would try to come up this road, and everybody that works up here would try to come out here, you know. You would think so, anyway. Okay. <clears throat> We've got our mall installed. <laughs> it says they need more shoppers. I don't believe them. 
But we're gonna give him more choppers soon anyway. And I think we'll keep just one mall level here because I want to make sure it stays totally happy. And we need way more people anyway. We <laughs> we have so many people that we need. I don't think we need a safety level or any of that. No, no, we're just gonna we're just gonna build this up this way. Check all our services here, doing good on all that. A lot of garbage, but we're picking it all up and burning it all off. Looking good. In fact, this one doesn't even need its garbage trucks. I still want to know why this says there's highway traffic congestion, too, because I don't see any. Like, there's no congestion anyway. Everyone's entering and exiting just fine. On both ends. I don't know where this congestion is. In any event, we'll continue to build this. The thing that we're going to do this time is we're going to put a mall on the bottom and a park on the top. So hopefully, uh, hopefully people are able to get to work easier. I'm not sure. Um, Strit actually mentioned something the other day uh, that seems very plausible, and that the higher up they are in the tower, the possibly longer their commute times can be. So. Um, I'm not really sure. That's that, I mean, it's, it sounds very plausible. So, but we are just making tons of money in this city. Uh, in fact, I think what we're gonna do is make this our research city, and we're gonna make this our amusement park city, because it's right by the water, and that's pretty cool. So, I'm going to send this city. Oh, I, I would have to claim it first, huh? Oh, no. I can just send it. I'm going to send that city 10 million. So we can build pretty much whatever the hell we want. <laughs> yes, yes, need low wealth apartment levels. And Omega deliveries are slow. We have like 94% of the city under Omega control. That's excellent. Oops. And we're starting to get up there on producing all of our Omega. So, uh, honestly, I think that one Omega plant can provide for the whole city if it would just produce. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have put a second mall level at the bottom. Hmm. I don't know. That's hard. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually take this out. Put down another mall level. You can see why I use so much money when I build cities. I'm indecisive. <laughs> Keep changing my mind about stuff. Keep changing my mind about expensive stuff. <laughs> And we're just waiting for these to build now. Awesome. <coughs> 
all this high wealth population down here seems really, really stable, which I like. The only thing down here that seems to go down once in a while is this guy. He, he loses Omega, but he seems fine now, too, so... And then we have this little corner to do something with, too. Um, I'm not really too sure what I want there yet, either. Maybe we'll like maybe we'll move um, the hospital here because I don't like the hospital where it is. We'll lose some of that commercial, but I think I'm okay with that. Oh, that one lost because of Omega now. I don't think we need that. Definitely need the drone hanger, but where are we going to put it? Let's actually put it over here. And then we can use this section here since we're not going to really have that much room for commercial. We can use it for these. There. Now we can bulldoze this one. So I found something to put in that spot. Good. Most of these areas have stayed very optimized as far as spacing goes. You know, these four filled in all four. There's four here, there's four here, plus an extra little bit. Probably, yeah, there's an extra little one over here. Well, these are commercial too, so they, they build a different size. That's right, they, they're, they're a different width. Offline patch when? I wish I knew. Um, this is a, since the last patch, which was patch 9.0. Um, and the next patch, which would be 10, which should have offline, and I think they have some extra tools that they put in for modders, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to see. But, um, I, this has been the longest di um, time between patches. So, any day now? I don't know. Uh, honestly, your, your guess is as good as mine as to when it's going to come out. I hope soon. Yes, we need to continue building our low wealth apartment here. Oh, and we did go just a touch under on power. So let's throw another one of these on. March or April? Uh, I, I hope it's coming in February, honestly. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of stuff that... I mean, just like every patch, there's, there's tweaks that need to be done. Yeah, education is is weird. Yeah, and the tower money glitch to straight. That's... I mean, granted, that's, a, that's kind of a positive one because you end up making money after demolishing a tower, but it, it's not correct, which is the problem. <laughs>
Jones will be getting there. Yeah, there's a bit of traffic here, still. <laughs> Even with drones, I mean, this... I didn't think I laid this out too bad, but oh well. One-way roads, straight. That's what I want. One-way roads. <laughs> and this VTOL thing fixed, because I would totally just have a VTOL here and do something else, but it doesn't drop anything. Yes, that's the other thing straight, too, that I thought is commuting will, will hopefully work a little better uh, in offline, because it won't need to uh, wait for that update from the server. I mean, it may still be bound to the same problem that, that commuting is in the first place, which, you know, we've talked about before, but for people that haven't listened to that conversation, it's basically the only people that will commute to your city from another city are the ones that will just put enough workers in a job in order to fill it, in order to open the building. Um, so there's a couple levels for buildings. There's a level of workers where they have just enough to run the business and then they have and then as you increase they're able to make more profit and, and actually fill out the amount of workers that they need so the only ones that will commute are the ones to just open the building the rest um, simply won't commute over so I don't know if they're gonna stick with that with the way that that works or or if they're gonna improve that I, I hope that they improve it but we'll see here Check that guy didn't like land value. Ah, yes, because we changed our land value just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Nobody's in zones they're not supposed to be now. <laughs> or in wealth areas. Did we get power back? Yeah, we got power back to it. The density there is increasing well. Um, I'm not getting a ton commuting in yet. We got a few here, but still need more. We got some unsatisfied, which I'm working on here. I'll put this park at the top. Hopefully keep these top level people happy. Yeah, straight that's been my hope too, that that they would make it fully that the commuters would, would fully fill out jobs like in uh some city four, so you could fully segregate regions. You know, you could have just a community region where it's all residential, um, you know, maybe a shop or two just so they, they can have some local stuff, but the vast majority of their shopping can be done in, you know, a large downtown central business district, like, like, you, <laughs> that's, that's some of the stuff that I miss from, from Sin City 4, is the ability to segregate like that. You want park or mall level? Hey, there you go. I was going to say there's one right above you, but maybe it just had to open. 
and then we'll put our solar crown on. It's almost morning, so by the time it's done building, we should be good. Yeah, you can kind of see from the, the population panel here, we have, you know, what, 500 people commuting in for, for workers. And if we go to the Arcology, it tells us that we have 154,000 workers available. That's, I mean, these guys should be commuting in and working, but they're not. They're just hanging out in their Arcology. So, <laughs> being a bunch of slackers. go. Now we can go down here and take some of this out. There. Had enough on me. Looks like everybody's happy in here. Room's all good. Nobody's overworked. Alright. See, now there's more traffic congestion than there was before, but it's not bitching. Oh, now see, it says it, but it's not yellow. I don't, I don't understand that. But, looks like we're about done with this region, and I think we're pretty close to our hour mark. So I'm going to cut the stream for a moment. I'll be back shortly if you're watching live. Um, if you guys enjoy what I do, follow me on uh, Twitch or uh, and or subscribe on YouTube. Uh, I, I always put my videos up there too after the fact. So. You can catch up on things if you want to know what we did to help build this city. When we come back, we're going to be moving to our new city and uh, building our research town. So I'll be back shortly. <laughs>